Hi Capricorn, welcome to Weekly Messages. Um, as always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading, always check what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. And if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do that by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So Capricorn, you do have a feeling here that this week might be actually very special, very um, blissed, and there seems to be the uh, particular occurrence that you're not expecting that will translate itself into being, you know, this uh, response from the universe, this uh, understanding on your part that something is much better or about to be much better than what you have believed it could be or what you gave yourself permission to believe it could be because i feel like some of you have been in this uh special uh, this, uh, this 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 kind of cage there's a feeling of being caged a feeling of being confined into a structure or a belief system that has not led that has not led to great results that has not led you to your uh, expansion where you do desire expansion and i do feel like some of you capricorns this week it's all about receiving messages all about receiving signs all about receiving the right advice the right you know kind of confirmation that something that you truly want something that you truly would like um, to do is not only there for you, it's possible to be done. This is about you trans, um, there's something about you transcending your limitations, your judgments, your beliefs upon what's possible for you to achieve. There's that feeling of reach for the stars, Capricorns, this week. So you could really be feeling like there's a huge spiritual development, growth, ascension happening during this time. You could really be feeling pulled into the highs and the depths of the spiritual world and what that represents to you. I also feel like there's a lot of you Capricorns that are being nourished um, by going into sacred holy spaces such as churches, or mosques, or places where uh, the energy of something divine and holy is present. It could also be that there's a lot of nourishment that some of you could be feeling through practices like prayer or meditation or reading, you know, religious or philosophical books or spiritual themes. So when you feel out of um, touch, with faith or with a sense of understanding of certain topics or subjects this week you can find a lot of answers by searching it's like what you're after is also after you right so there's a beautiful encounter of Questions and answers, you know, it's like a question and an answer, a question and an answer being, you know, found right away. There's also something here about you being receptive to an energy of other realms. So I keep getting like this is a huge week focused on the otherworldly energy. Um, trust the visions, the dreams, the signs, what your intuition is telling you for sure. But also, if you feel weird, if you feel scared, if you feel like you don't understand the kind of energy that is present right now in your life, ask, uh, move out of your comfort zones. Um, there's guides out there for you. There's something about a guide in specific. So it can be someone that it's knowledgeable in a certain, you know, area 
you are feeling weird about. It can be, you know, a teacher, a guide, a priest, a healer, or even someone, you know, around you that has just in them a lot of wisdom. Don't shy away from making questions because this is a week where you can actually get the answers, the right answers. I also feel like if you have been waiting to receive any kind of message, any kind of message from any kind of person and in any kind of um, associated with any kind of area of life, so dealing with work, love, romance, dealing with family, most likely it's coming very, very, very soon. It could be this week or it could be um, soon after that, but know that the message you want, the communication you want will be coming your way. Uh, at the same level, if you feel that you need to send a message that somehow has a level of importance to you, if you need to communicate with someone and you have been waiting for kind of the sign or the right timing, this is the week where most likely some of you will feel profoundly moved to communicate, to open up or to reach out to a particular uh, person or institution, um, you know, circumstance that will be in, in the right timing because it will be also receptive to you. So maybe you have been waiting about the right time for something to be, you know, in alignment with your own energy. Um, I also feel like for some of you Capricorns, this is a week where you might stand in the middle of two important things. So it could be you are in the middle of two important um, relationships here. And I, I'm feeling like maybe you are in the middle of this, this two, this two, so two people to help them out. You could also be kind of being here a little bit like a ma matchmaker or just a, a guide to two people in your life right now. You could also be kind of this vessel of knowledge, this vessel of profound, intuitive um, understanding. And maybe you're gonna, this, this is gonna happen without you, you know, planning to do this. And you're gonna, again, receive this, this powerful channeling from the divine that could scare you because if it's the first ex the first experience that some of you will be having, uh, it could be a little bit intimidating. But I feel like you're in the middle of two. So the middle of two could be you are there to guide two people that are in need of your spiritual knowledge. Or it could also be that you are in the middle of a relationship. So it could be that like you are this... Uh, a third party kind of person here in a relationship. It could be that uh, your presence stands, you know, in the way of something coming together. But there's like a, a reason for that. Like there, it's 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 uh, divinely oriented. So if you are in the middle of something, of a situation that's not just about you and another, that has again this uh, third influence. There's something to be learned here. There's something to be understood here that maybe um, you're struggling and you're finding again the answers to this to this specific concern. Is is that why is this energy in the middle, or why am I in the middle? It, because if it's not you that you yourself that are in the middle, someone is in the middle. Something is in the middle between you and another. And. I feel like, again, there's a spiritual um, flavor to this, in, per se, obstacle or issue that some of you should address by either seeking um, answers with knowledgeable souls or seeking answers yourself by searching up. Um, soulful, knowledgeable, spiritual, esoteric um, knowledge as well. So I hope you have a great week. I want to thank all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, and present in my channel, helping me out, helping uh, you know our soul visionary 
uh, tribe uh, grow and expand during 2020. Um, I appreciate all of your love, all of your support. Um, I want to thank you for that and wish you a very happy, prosperous 2021. Hopefully, we'll see each other soon.